Hey yo, what's going on guys? It is Foxy98 here and welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on the channel and today I am very happy to showcase to you guys for the very first time my second game that I'm going to be releasing very very soon and as you can see it is on your screens right now it is called Grappling Ball. So Grappling Ball is a platformer game in which you are a ball and you have a grapple hook and you use it to complete a specific set of obstacle course levels uh, and just get to the end. It's pretty self-explanatory really. Um, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a first look at the game itself. Now before we get into this I just want to uh, let you know uh, very much in advance this is a work in progress build of the game. The game is not complete yet. There are still things that I want to finish off and add before I call this a complete game. So somewhere on the screen I will have for the entirety of the video uh, stating that this is a work in progress build. Um, so before you start trying to you know come out and say XYZ, uh, obviously this is still work in progress. I haven't actually um, sent it out yet to some people to play test yet, so there's still some things uh, that will be a change, and also some features that I want to put in. But today, I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a showcase on what Grappling Ball is, and just show how the game basically works. So, as you can see, we're click, click, clicking, we're clicking, hmm. We're not clicking. I mean, we can click with my mouse, that, that's cool. We're starting things off here at the main menu now. So as you can see, uh, simple main menu really, there's not loads to it. Um, this is the official Grappling Ball logo. Um, the thing that probably end up changing is probably the, the, the ball section for the, the ball, obviously. Um, I'll probably end up changing that. So when I've actually gone ahead and, and modeled out uh, the proper design for the Grappling Ball, it will be that instead. But for now, it is uh, uh, as it is. But um, as you can see, we've obviously got the play options and the quit game. So obviously, I'm not going to quit the game because it'll just, it's just annoying to, to get back up. So if we go into the options, you can see here. And obviously, there's the little uh, sound effect as well uh, for um, pressing each of the buttons. And that's the sound when you actually shoot with your grapple. So it kind of makes sense there. So obviously, we've got the options here to, to go through and, and change these. I haven't uh, actually gone ahead and, and um, formatted those in there yet. So... They don't actually um, do anything for now, um, but they're there anyway um, for the, the time being. But uh, obviously, um, it's a very, very basic menu system uh, just to, to start with, obviously. There's a lot of things that I've got that are currently in uh, my documents, which I want to put into the game. It's all about how I can, if I can find a way to actually implement them. Because one thing about me, especially when it comes to game design and development... I've, uh, I'm very ambitious and there's so many things that I want to put into a game, but then you've got to sort of, you know, take a step back and think there's only one person, e.g. me, developing this game, not like a hundred odd people. So let's take it down a little bit um, in there. But for now, there's a play options and a quick game. Hopefully, sometime soon, what I want to do is get rid of the option or this options menu. Um, I kind of want to have an options menu and then a set of buttons that can change to go to specific places like resolution. Um, and I having, haven't had a look yet, but I want to look at different appearances so you can have a different looking ball if that's possible for something that I'm trying to make. Um, you know, and maybe graphic settings, sensitivity, you know, those type of things. Like, this, you know what I mean. Resolution, you know, graphics, sensitivity, all that stuff. So there's some of the things that obviously um, I'd like to start having a little bit of a look at. Um, but uh, for now, it is as plain and basic, as simple as you want. So straight away, we're going to click play. And as soon as we click play, we have got a level selection menu. Uh, this is the first time I've actually created a level selection menu. I didn't do it when I did Gunderdome. And it's something that I wanted to do for Gunderdome. But there was some issues in there which meant I just couldn't really go ahead and do it. So, as you can see then, uh, we've gone ahead, uh, or I've gone ahead and created a set of buttons. There's still a couple of buttons that need a little bit of adjusting in terms of just uh, the little the images actually just uh, creeping out from the back there. But what I've gone ahead is I've gone ahead and taken a screenshot from every single level uh, within the game itself. Uh, and basically created a little thumbnail for them. Uh, with the outer ring on the side there, which has got some shadow uh, textures in there as well. So as you can see, uh, you can obviously click back to go to the main menu or uh, down the bottom here is where you can reset game. Now, obviously for the time being, there's this little bit of text. Now this is only for developmental stuff. Basically when you're creating a game, you can create things called print, print strings is what they're called. Um, and what it'll do is if I click these levels a couple of times, you can see here that it says, you know, it's come up with a piece of text there. When the game is actually uh, built out in its final form, no one will ever see those messages there. So I could keep the print string messages in there. Basically, they're for developmental purposes only. So you basically either A, get a reminder um, that, you know, what you, you know, I've typed something in there. Maybe just to double check it works. It's the best way 
um, to either A, if you want to put something in there, but just need to make sure that your mechanic works. Like for now, obviously, if I click level two, it says complete previous level to play this level. I actually want to go ahead and create a UI graphic, which says, you know, you must, must complete the previous level before um, you must unlock you know, this level or something like that is a bit of a text to come into there. So that's obviously one way that a print string works. So for now, that's just a little thing in there that tells me that at some point I'll then get the UI piece in there. The second thing that a print string is for, it's very, very useful to see if your uh, blueprint uh, or your code actually works, obviously, because sometimes you could do your piece of coding and it says when you've actually compiled your code that it's fine and it's okay, and then you go ahead and test it and it doesn't work. So by putting in lots of print strings throughout the entirety of your code, you're able to find where your actual uh, code is actually going wrong. So by this point now, if I click on this, I know A, my code is working perfectly, and B, obviously, when I go on to uh, actually see if it works. I've got the print string in there to showcase all the way at the very end of my code what I want it to say. So obviously we've got all of the levels in place here. So there's going to be 10 levels for you guys to invest your time into when the game is released, starting at level one, which is a very plain and simple level, which I'm going to showcase to you guys in today's video. Uh, and then obviously as you progress alongwards, you've got the second level. Uh, and then as the game goes on and on and on, it gets longer and longer. And in terms of each level gets longer and longer. And the challenge gets harder and harder. So that is the aim for it. So we're going to go into the first level now. Um, and we're going to basically give it a little bit of a go and see what it is all about and how it basically works. So as you can see then... Welcome aboard to some grappling ball here and uh, level one is a very plain and simple level So first things first obviously I'm using the mouse and keyboard to do this um, I am currently trying to work on uh, this uh, Thing uh, for um, controller compatibility in fact if I actually just get off my That's a set of headphones not really one I wanted to smash into the floor But um if I just quickly get it now here we go here So if I look at my controller you can see that it is working currently on controller at the moment um, but however, there's still a couple of things that need to be changed in order for it to be fully gamepad usable, such as sensitivity. Also, all the menus have to be programmed um, to work on a gamepad, otherwise it won't. So yeah, still some things to do, but for now I could literally go around and, and do all my do all my stuff on, on a controller. It, it works absolutely fine, um, but we're going to obviously use mouse and keyboard um, to start this thing off then. So the premise of the ball is obviously there's um, a set of platforms that are directly in front of you and it's a case of how you actually get across them. So if I click with my mouse, I can go ahead and... Uh, why is my mouse not... Okay, that's why. So if I go ahead and just uh, have a little bit of a click to here, you can see that the little grapple comes out and you now are grappling onto a wall. That is the purpose of grappling ball. I can just go around and, well, shoot anything that I want to and that's the point of grappling ball is... There are going to be levels when you play the game where the grapple is essential. Like this wall by here, I need to shoot up so I can get onto the top. And obviously some levels you'll find that the grapple is not obvious to use, but you're going to want to use it anyway. Now obviously as you can see at the moment the actual grapple rope is currently detached from the ball itself. Like I said, once I've actually modelled uh, the ball uh, and its little um, grapple shooting thing, um, you, or the grapple gun, that's what I'm looking for, it won't really, you know, cause any problems for you. And that's how it is. So you can stay on whatever platform you want for as long as amount of time as you want. It, it really doesn't make a difference. Uh, and you pretty much have freedom to go where you want, obviously. Um, now, if you, for example, jump onto this and you fall off, you, you don't make the platform, there's obviously a respawn system that's in place and it sends you back to the start. Now, like I said, there's still some stuff that I need to put in terms of the UI um, for the game itself. Um, which would obviously be on the top of the screen. Um, that's where I want to inform people um, what level they're on potentially. Also, uh, I'm, and I want to put a timer on there so you can see how much time it took you to complete each level. Uh, and then again, I've got more plans, um, but I'd rather not state all of my plans for the game because then if I state my plans and people get really excited about a single plan and I can't even make it happen because it's just not doable uh, for me, then obviously... There's uh, no point. So, as you can see, once again, you know, you, you fail uh, and you respawn. So, it's pretty much a very self-explanatory and simple game to just go across. And uh, as you can see here, the first level, obviously, is very, very simple. I can just go across here and I can just click, click all the way across. 
And as you can see, so you can obviously let go and let yourself fling a little bit. There's nothing to say that you have to hold on for a little bit. And then obviously get into the end. And you can see, there we go, I've completed it. There's a finish line uh, for you to cross. And then if I cross the finish line, obviously there's, again, there's no UI yet to say level completed. Um, uh, and anything like that. No loading screens or whatever. And as you can see, we're now on to level number two. So as you can see, what I would like to have is obviously a level complete UI system. Um, which allows you to see, you know, how long it took you to complete the level. Uh, and then if a button which says next level. And then a button which says, you know, quit to main menu. And for now, obviously... I don't even have a main a pause menu and I've actually just got ahead and killed myself, which is really not the greatest thing to do in the world there. So uh, I'm just going to have to back out a second and put myself back in because I just ended the game by accident. Okay, so here we go. We're actually back onto the screen now after I um, went ahead and pressed one of the buttons that I shouldn't have pressed. Oops. Um, but there we go. So that is your first look at Grappling Ball. Um, hopefully you guys like the look of it uh, and are interested. Um, obviously the game is not finished yet. And uh, there is still lots of stuff to be done. And uh, I am working flat out to try and get this game released firstly onto PC. Uh, and then I am trying to get it available for console. But obviously, I need to still do uh, bits of work in order for it to be compatible on the console. Like I said, obviously, you can use the controller. And I've just showcased you in the gameplay that uh, you can use the controller um, to move around. But as you can see, if I try and do anything now on the menus, nothing works. Uh, it won't work on any, plat any bit of the menu. So... Obviously, you know, there's like key keyboard does work on the menu. You can see it takes a little bit of time, but there's a little bit of a delay. You can see if I can go through and if I just click on to, I don't know, play, you can see if I click enter, it might even work. I don't know. But like I said, there's obviously still some things that need to be done uh, on the keyboard and also on the controller for the game to work itself. Um, but yeah, obviously using a mouse, it works absolutely fine because that's how the menu was originally started with. But guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this first look at Grappling Ball. If you have, feel free to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well. And uh, I will keep you guys posted on Grappling Ball uh, quite regularly, obviously as the game is getting close to its completion point. And uh, I'll let you know when it is out. And yeah, that's pretty much it from me. Thank you very much for taking the time out to watch this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care all.